All right, welcome to Carolina Warrior TV, our recap of Elite Championship Cage Friday 22. I'm joined by the guy who had the privilege of sitting cage side all night long for these exciting fights. That is a heartbreak kid. Look at him. He's handsome, debonair, Mr. Corey Vonnegutty. Corey and Horace left and right. Left and right all over this place. Corey, again, every time I, I join up with you, uh, we don't get a fight that goes really past the second round. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're so starstruck with you that there's just KO after a technical knockout. How do you explain it? How do I explain it? There is no way to explain it. I've commentated 18 fights now. 18 fights for you, my friend. Guess how many of them have gone to decision? Uh, one. one fight. And it started off with the Matt Grant versus Erica Hamley fight. Uh, two guys, newer guys inside the cage, and again, there was a KO. Yeah, that's what started the fight off, excuse me, the night off right. That first fight, folks, let me tell you, came out here. Uh, Hamley went after Grant early, put him on his ass, got right back up, through one punch, one punch the entire fight, put him to sleep. Knockout of the night, no doubt. That was the first fight of the night that got everybody on their feet. And from there, it just it just carried on throughout the night. The momentum was Going crazy. On. Chad Hoyle versus uh, Tyler. Uh, no, three, three. Yes, I believe, we're gonna, yes. You're gonna mess that one up. But again, another fight that ended, I believe, in the first round. First wasn't? round. There was only two fights that went to the second round, and uh, they both ended in submissions as well. The action-packed card here tonight on Elite Championship Cage Fighting 22 Jazz. Holloway's turn to, to, the, to the TKO on that one. Jeremy Holloway with a big TKO. I mean, I would almost call that a standing knockout. He was wearing that kid out. I don't know how he was staying on his feet, but he definitely came away with a strong victory here tonight. Hafiz Santos, out of Brazil, a native of Brazil, was a former wrestler at Central Michigan University, wrestled with a couple of friends I got up there. He won his debut fight tonight by submission, finding out a renegade, so that's another new fighter they got coming out. One of many over there. Uh, moving on to the Michael Osborne, Jeremy McKenzie fight. That's Aaron Osborne's older or younger well, brother, I, I think it's his older brother. They, there are three of them, if I'm correct, three Osborns. Good. There's uh, Michael, Aaron, and I think Connor. Uh, so, well, Michael looking familiar to Aaron, uh, laying dudes out with his hands tonight, putting them to sleep. They, 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 I don't know if that's a trait they have inside of them, but those Osborns have some heavy hands, and it, uh, there's, a, I guess, a misconception about what his record is. Uh, I don't want to get Mike in trouble, so I said he's 1-0-ish. one in o ish one in o ish I'm not saying... I'm not saying... I might have seen Mike uh, fight uh, somewhere else. Maybe it was in the street I saw him fight. That's that's why I'm so confused. Still a fight. But still a fight. Still a fight. Well, listen, on the card, he's listed as 0-0. Oh but tonight, but tonight he became 1-0, oh, folks. Yeah. Moving on to Rafael Morel versus T. Lee. Yo, that was my favorite fight. That was my favorite fight by far. Very impressed with T. Lee tonight. Very impressed with him, more so than any other fighter. The kid came out. He looked calm. He was fighting uh, in the flyweight division, which is always exciting. Fought a dude named Rafael Morel, who's had, I believe, seven fights he's now. He's experienced inside the cage, and I just one of those things where he, the moves just weren't there to capitalize. He was on his back. Well, he had, the guy had his, T. Lee had his back the whole night, which is, uh, you know, you can't stay there too long without something. Yeah, with no uh, doubt, no doubt T. Lee dominating the fight from start to finish on the ground. Very impressive, very impressive. What do you think about the main event? I thought the main event was, it was two experienced guys, which I like. Brandon Davis, I haven't seen Brandon in a little while, but he came out here from Salvation MMA and uh, had some great corners in there. And he, he showed that, hey, just because you take a little bit of time off, I think it was like two and two coming in inside the cage. He gets on the good side of a record now at three and two, and he's the elite champion right now. You can't say too much. He had a great guy with uh, with uh, Tony Tony Rogers. Tony Rogers is so experienced. No matter what happens to him, you know, he got eye poked. You know, it looked like a question of groin shot he might have had. But still, Brandon Davis is able as is, is a, is a gamer every time you see him out there. And, uh, just one of those things you get caught every once in a while. Absolutely. Great fight tonight. Brandon Davis is no joke. Sometimes taking a little time off is the best thing you can do for your career, whether you're an amateur or a pro. And like I said, like you said, he fought no slouch in Tony Rogers, who's had 14 cage fights now at the age of 21, and he's got a winning record. Tony Rogers is in no joke. Has nothing to be ashamed of. He'll come back better from this. You know how many cage fights I have at the age of 30? Zero. Zero. I have zero. Fight, you know how I was many I want? Say one, but 
And against my better judgment, I just I kept my say, you, you weren't at that same party that Cage was at, so don't worry about <laughs> that. Uh, you enjoyed the night? Of course, always. If I got a front row seat, I promise you, I, I'll always enjoy the night. And uh, I think you might have a front row seat in about two weeks ago if you want it. Two weeks, that's look, 14 look. days. I'll be back here in front of this camera bringing you all the action for Carolina Warriors. And he knows TV how to sell it, too, folks. Look at this handsome face. How can you go wrong with... Live on pay-per-view two weeks from now. How can you go wrong with Corey Von Eggety, folks? I don't know. Thank you for watching this recap of Elite Championship. Elite Championship uh, 22. We'll see you next time, folks. Can you, like, Photoshop, like a spark, like a little shine? I'll, I'll make it happen. Ding.